for me, um, colours, um, primary colours work best for me because I, I can see the transition from one to the other. Um, so when I see a red and a blue, they, they intermingle for me. Um, and it's, it's really a, a question of tones of colours. Um, but the easiest way to do that live is to paint with big primary colours to get across the, that, that point. Poetry provides a great link um, in language to transport you. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I love the, the poet Gerard Manley Hopkins because of that, that he was aware of, of something becoming something else. And I suppose that I think all great art is poetry and great art is music and poetry is music and you know it, it all intermingles and, and that I, I find that poetry is the most powerful way of, of um, making sense of that. I love the work of Nicholas Poussin and I often think of music when I hear, when I look at paintings. And there's a marvellous painting in the, in the um, Ashmolean here in Oxford, um, where there's just sort of specific colours singing out above a background, and quite specific and, and beautiful. I suppose the most famous example is, is Morton Feldman writing music from Pollock's paintings, um, which is fascinating. And, and that whole era of um, Pollock painting with Ornette Coleman and wild jazz in the background, I, mean, I, I love all that. Um, but, and there, 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 there's lots of examples where, where musicians have, have composed music, especially jazz musicians actually, that have composed music that relates to paintings. The most immediate thing is colour for me, um, but then uh, whilst listening um, over and over again, you know, I see sh you know, textures and shapes and I mean, I'm aware of that all the time, but colour's the most immediate thing for me. I'd love to do everything that I experience, so I'd love to, I'd love to do that. It's just, um, I, I do love painting though, and um, I suppose I always come back to that. But I, I would love to, to do that in a sculptural form. And it came about through, um, listening to Olivier Messiaen um, and then I listened to Olivier Messiaen's organ music with a, a, a marvellous musician called Dame Gillian Weir and um, I fortuitously I, I went to meet her and showed her my paintings that were to do with Messiaen's work and she loved them and, uh, and so that started a collaboration. And, um, and ever since then it's just sort of snowballed, so lots of different musicians that I've worked with. Um, it just, I seek out musicians and they seek out me, it's a two-way process. The, <laughs> the funniest and greatest compliment was, you know, that this child said to me, you know, this, this chap came over and taught us how to scribble, and, <laughs> and I like how to scribble, <laughs> um, and I, I sort of, I like, um, I like the idea that, that children should be allowed to sort of free up and, and use their natural abilities, and I, I believe that synesthesia is in all of us, and that as the brain splits up, um, a bit like, um, 
a hand forming um, that as your hand forms it splits up into digits and your brain is a bit the same and you know but when you're young very young you you have all of those senses together and we get taught to split those up and with, with a few of us it stays there well firstly I ask them to play into music which often is, is difficult for them anyway so I mean for instance the other boy I you know, played music and they started painting a house and the sky and you know, usual things that the children would do um, and I said well you know forget that you know we don't want to do that we want to you know you want to follow the line of the music and um, and suddenly it's free and, and they, they feel that it's freedom and, and I, I like that what I'd like to do actually eventually is, is to surround an audience with colour so that, um, that I would be painting and the, the experience of the brush stroke would actually be revealed in a, a surrounding sense, which is what I feel. And so I'd, I'd love to um, be, you know, be in a constant environment and the audience were actually surrounded by projections of, of what I was actually doing, rather than watching me in a sort of medieval way. But I do like the medieval way as well. I, I like the sort of idea that I'm there and they're there. And, but it would be nice to surround people.